What's up, YouTube? How's it going? It is your boy Breaks here today. And today, today, today. Today I've got for you all a very special video, a video that I said I would be doing, and if you can already tell by the uh, by what you're looking at, it's a scorpion combo tutorial. We're in practice mode with scorpion. We're gonna drop a scorpion combo tutorial. So what I'm gonna go over in this video is I'm gonna teach you guys the vortex for scorpion because I feel like a lot of people have asked me that before. They're like, yo, how do you how do you hit your opponent so much that they, they can't even play? How do you how do you do that? So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over that. Let's do that. Let's let's figure that out together. Okay. Let's figure out the scorpion uh, vortex. So before I get into it, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the controller inputs. What I'm going to be talking about. So see how I'm on a PlayStation controller. The PlayStation controller. Hold up, I have one. Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. The PlayStation controller looks very different from the Xbox controller, as you can see here. If I can get it into frame. Give me a minute. There we go. These buttons are different. If you can see the, the the symbols are different over here. See these are different from these. So you can see the X is different here than it is over here. So what I'm gonna do is so that way everyone on PlayStation and Xbox can understand me. I'm gonna be using numbers instead of the symbols. If you're on PlayStation and that feels a little complicated for you, the numbers, don't worry, you can always just look at my screen, see you can see the buttons that I'm pressing while I press them. But it's not gonna be complicated, I promise, because I'm gonna put up an image of a controller and I'm gonna put up the numbers in the position correlating to the buttons. So what that means is square is gonna be one if you're on PlayStation, this will be two, that'll be three, and that'll be four. There's gonna be an image on your screen so that way you can see that. One, two, three, four, those are the numbers I'm gonna use. So that way if you're on PlayStation or Xbox, you can fully understand this and you will be able to fully understand it because you're looking at the picture right now. You already know, where does my finger go? Oh, it hits that number when he says to hit that number. That's right, if I say two, that means you hit the two on the picture. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and go over that. So I'm gonna go over the three parts of this vortex. Now, this vortex begins with let me, let me find the buttons here. Here we go. So Eternal Vengeance. This is going to be like your main go-to for the Vortex. Like it, it's going to be your most damage. It'll be a great way to start it. So let's go ahead and put that on the screen there. And then your key special moves for the Vortex are going to be your Teleport, your Spear. Where is it? Spear. And then your Demon, your Down, your Low Demon. Which one's the Demon Grab? I believe that is it. Yep, the Low. So these are gonna be the three, the four, <laughs> these are gonna be the four inputs that I use the most. After that, it's just gonna be single input, so either I'm gonna do four, I'm gonna do one, two, one, two, one. Either I'm gonna do two, one, or four, or jump into two, stuff like that. Other than that, these are the buttons you're gonna be pressing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into that. So the beginning of the vortex is you wanna get a clean combo on your opponent. You wanna start a combo, and how the vortex part of it is you're gonna end it with a teleport. When your combo ends with a teleport, your combo is now plus 18 on hit. Let me see if I can find that teleport. Where is it? Ba -ba 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 teleport. Plus 18 on hit. See on the very last bottom in the middle, it says hit ADV, hit advantage, plus 18. That means there is 18 frames for you to press a button before you press a button. So if we look here on Shin Strike, my starts at 11 frames. That means there is no way he's gonna beat this out because 18 frames for me to freely press a button and I'm only using 11 out of those 18. So if I do a teleport into a low, that won't beat any button my opponent ever tries to press because they're not allowed to press a button. And that's essentially the part of the vortex. The vortex forces your opponent to block because if they press anything, the low's gonna beat it. Now, another part of the vortex is the overhead, which is a forward circle after the teleport. If you see here, it's at 25 frames startup. So that's a seven frame difference between 18 and 25. That's, uh, I think, a seven difference, if I'm not mistaken, if my math is enough. So the only thing that'll beat that is actually a six frame poke. So you see Scorpion here. So if I try to teleport and then overhead, if my opponent is mashing out low poke after my teleport, it'll beat my overhead. But that's okay, this is a Vortex, and Vortex is a part of a mind game. It's to get your opponent scared of pressing a button. That's the whole point of the Vortex. It's to punish your opponent for pressing a button enough so that when they do want to press a button, they're scared to do it, so they're just gonna block. They're gonna either block overhead or they're gonna block low. And if they block overhead, you hit them with the low. If they block low, you hit them with the overhead. 
and then you just do it over and over again. So without further ado, let's get into the actual combo itself. So the combo is going to start with Eternal Vengeance, which is 2-1-4. 2-1-4, and you're going to cancel 2-1-4 into the teleport, which is down back 3. So 2-1-4, down back 3. Bam. That's the first part of the combo. Practice that. Go ahead. Watch the video again if you don't get it, because I'm not going to go over it again. Just watch that part all over again. 2-1-4, down back 3. That's how you get your, your first part of your combo. So 2-1-4, down back 3. Then after your teleport, you're going to do 2-1 into speed. So, you've already practiced the first part, you got that down. 2 1 4 and the teleport. 2 1 4 and the teleport. The next part is going to be 2 1 chain. So, 2 1 4 teleport. 2 1 chain. Don't try. You can't. 2 1 chain. No, I'm so bad. 2 1 4 teleport. 2 1 chain. There we go. 2 1 4 teleport. 2 1 chain. That's the second part. 2 1 chain. And if you see here, the chain actually restands your opponent. You see they're in this juggling state, and then you throw up the chain, and now they're standing again. Ah, if they're standing, what can you do? The teleport. But you can't do the teleport yet, because that's the part that comes at the end of the combo. See, the teleport while they're standing puts you, puts you at plus 18. If you teleport while they're in a juggle state, they're not standing, so how could you do a low? You're not going to hit anyone. He's recovering from the teleport. So you need the chain to restand. So let's go ahead, first part and second part. Oh, why am I so bad? 2 one 4 teleport, 2 one There we go. Now the next part of this combo is going to be a cross-up. So you either do jumping 1 or jumping 2, depending on which button you're more comfortable with. I prefer jumping 1. I land it more than jumping 2. It's just my preference. They, they do the same thing. You don't want to press jumping 3 because that's a kick and that's a knockdown. And you don't want to press jumping 4 because the same reason. It's a kick and it's a knockdown. So we're going to do our combo. Bam. And then you're going to cross up, and then 2-1 into Herpes. Now you have to do it faster. I took too long to do it there, so they dropped out of it. There we go. And then you're going to cross up, 1, and then 2-1, Logi. So the next part after the chain, the restand, is cross up, 1, 2-1, Logi. So let's start that combo again. So it's 2-1, 4, teleport, 2-1, chain, cross up, 1, 2-1, Low Demon. So 2-1-4, teleport, 2-1, chain, cross up 1, 2-1, Herpes. Bam! Ooh, I got it while talking. I got it while I was talking. I'm so proud of myself. I could talk and play, guys. I could talk and play. Okay, so after that, after you do the low demon, the next part is going to be another cross up. So this time you're going to do cross up 1, 4, and then teleport. And after your teleport, your combo is done, and now you can do either the low or the open, which is the second part of the vortex. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do 2-1-4, teleport, 2-1, chain. Nope. 2-1-4, teleport, 2-1, chain. Cross up 1, 2-1, Then we're gonna cross up 1, 4, teleport. So you just standing 4. All you do is press standing 4 after your cross up. You jump hit 1, you jump in with 1, you hit standing 4, you roundhouse kick, and then you teleport after your round kick. Bam. So, you ended your vortex there. You're plus 18. What do you want to do? You're going to want to go for the low after. I mean, you could do either low or overhead, but if you know your opponent's going to press a button, you want to keep them vortex, you go for a low. The low part of the vortex is going to be a little bit different than what I mentioned before, because this doesn't lead to a full combo, whereas in the other one, the 2 1 4 left into a full combo. But here at back 3, as you can see, it doesn't juggle state him. He's still standing up. So, how am I going to put him in a juggle state? I need to either demon him or I need to chain him after my back 3. That's the only way to force a juggle state. So, let's go ahead and show the combo one more time 2 1 4 teleport, 2 1 chain, cross up 1, 2 1 demon. Oh. Cross up one, two, one, two, three, right. bam. and then cross up one, four, teleport. Bam! That's the combo. Thirty-two percent, no bar, no bar needed, people. Thirty-two percent. So the next part is you hit him with the low. Now you want to do the low demon after the low. So it's back three, right. low demon, which is minion grab. You see it there. So back three, low demon, and then you jump in one, and then two, one, four again. So it's the same buttons, just in a different order. So after this back three low demon, your jump in is gonna go right back into that eternal vengeance. Two, one, four, bam. 
If there's any part of this you don't understand, rewatch it or ask me in the comment section below. I would gladly answer any questions. So, back to the demon. Jump in, 214. And you already know what we do after the 214 because we just did that in the last combo, right? You guys remember what comes after 214? What comes after 214? Can you tell me? Can you guess? Come on, you guys can tell me what comes after this. After this, what comes? The teleport! So, back three, slow demon. Jump in, one, two, one, four, teleport. There we go. That's part two of the combo. So, let's let's rush this up because we're, we're getting, the video's getting a little long. I don't want it to be too long for you guys. I'm gonna rush it up here. So, back three, low demon. Jump in, one, two, one, four, teleport. One, two, one, chain. So it's the same exact combo that you were doing before, but all the buttons are in a different order this time. Excuse me. So after back three, low demon, you jump in, one, two, one, four, and then you teleport. You always do two, one after the teleport. Remember that? Teleport, 2, 1. When they're in that juggle state, you teleport and then you 2, 1. So, after the 2, 1, this time you're going to do a chain. Because your chain is the only thing you can do. Because you already used the demon at the beginning of your combo. If you use the demon at the beginning of the combo, then it means you have to do a chain at the end of the combo. Because you can't use both twice. As you see here, if I try the demon there, you can't do the demon twice. See? The inputs just won't work. And the same for the chain. If I chain him one time and I try and chain him again, it gives you a completely different animation and it actually knocks him away. So you can't use the chain twice and you can't use the demon twice. You have to use each one once. So we use the low, we use the low for the demon, and then we do the cross up, two, one, four, teleport, two, one, and then chain. Let's go ahead and practice that. Two, one, chain. And then here's the same thing, cross up one, four, and then teleport. Right. Same stuff, same stuff. You guys just did this in the last combo. So it's back three low demon. I'm gonna jump in one, eternal vengeance, into a teleport, into a two one, and a chain. Bam, 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 bam. And then cross up four teleport. Bam. And now he's in the vortex again. This time you start at the vortex with the low. As you can tell, it does a little bit less damage, but he's back in the vortex. So the next part of this combo is going to be the overhead. Let's say you just hit this combo. You hit him with the low combo. So now he's worried of the low. He's scared. The low's going to come. What do you do? You overhead. Because you got him guarding low. He's scared of the low. So you start. You hit him with the overhead. Right now, you hit him with the overhead. Now, like I said, he can poke out of the overhead. But the point of the vortex, it, the vortex is not flawless. Nothing in the game is flawless. There is gaps in the vortex. But bad players usually won't be able to deal with it. They'll just keep panicking. So once you hit him with a low, and now he's scared of a low, you just mix it up and go for overhead. That's it. So the overhead combo, you can't overhead into demon. As you see here, it didn't go one, two. It didn't become a combo. They actually separated. The only way you can overhead into demon is if you use a bar of meter. And you don't want to use a bar of meter like this. That's a terrible way to do it. See a combo? It went to two here. So the way you do it is after you overhead, you spear. So you chain first this time. But what does that mean if you chain first? Remember last time I said if you demon first, then you have to chain the second time? So this time, if we're chaining first, we have to demon the second time. So you hit him with your vortex, and you overhead, chain. Now after overhead, chain, you're going to do the same as that cross-up, jumping one, and then eternal vengeance, two, one, four. It's the same thing, guys. You did this already. So overhead, chain, overhead, chain, cross-up one, Two, one, four, teleport. Now after your teleport, what comes after that? Come on, you guys, you did the first two combos. I know you know this. We've done this part off. Two, one. That's the next thing that comes after that. So overhead, chain, overhead, chain, cross up, one, two, one, four, teleport, and then two, one, and you already use the chain, so after two, one, you're gonna use the demon. Let's go, overhead, chain, cross up, one, two, one, four, I messed it up there, I apologize. Overhead, chain, you have to do it together. In Mortal Kombat, you have to do your combos just a little faster, not too fast. Input, and it'll register it later. So if you pre-input your buttons, watch. Look, press my buttons really fast, and you'll see he'll do it, and I'm not touching it. It's coming out, even though I'm not touching it anymore. Look, even if you do your turn. See, he kept doing it for a few seconds, even though I wasn't touching it. So you're going to pre-input your stuff. And the reason why I'm messing up is because I'm talking while I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it at the rhythm of my voice. 
it's probably best not to do it at the rhythm of, of my voice at the pre-inputs that Mortal Kombat X requires. Don't do it at the rhythm of my voice. Mess up just as much as I am. Do it at the preset inputs. So you do everything and basically register it for you. So you're going to do your overhead, which is forward circle. Forward circle, that's the overhead. Forward four, sorry, from Xbox. Let me go ahead and put that here. So the overhead is this one, overhead. And the low is this one, back three. Bam. Those are the two, those are the next two, the other two parts. So we're going to overhead spear, cross up with one into Eternal Vengeance, teleport to one, low demon. I missed the timing there because I was trying to talk. I was trying to do it after the timing of my voice, but remember, we, we went over that. We don't do it after the timing of my voice to the pre -input. See, it's much easier than the pre -input. So after the demon, we do another jump in. Jump in one, and this is the same way we end the combo before. Jump in one, four, teleport. And that's it. That's the vortex. Now you have a low and overhead one. So I'm going to show you what the overhead fully looks like. It's a uh, forward four speed, eternal vengeance, into two, one, and demon. I'm going to stay And you cross up one, two, one, four, teleport, two, one, demon. And then you jump in, one, four, teleport. Bam. 30% no bar. Damn, no bar, 30%, look at that, you did it. And then after that, you just keep mixing them up. Keep going low and overhead. You already saw what those two look like. If there's anything in the video that you don't understand, I would highly recommend you rewatch those parts over and over again. If you have any questions, if something just didn't make sense, leave it in the comment section below. I will be sure to respond to it as best as I can. If not, then hopefully someone who's watching the video who read your comment will also be able to respond and help you. I will do my part to respond. If you watch any of my videos, you know that I reply to comments. If you all enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, and I will see you all in the next one. Today. Today. Today.